Previously, in a different timeline, Ibishu and Aviath teleport back to the Prime Capital, being met by Flynn, who seems surprised by their safe return. As Aviath goes to reunite with his wife and son, Ibishu attacks Flynn in frustration, suspicious of the kingdom's actions. He asks for Flynn to finally make him a full god, but his wish is met with its usual request for patience from both Aelia and Flynn. Ibishu goes to warn Aviath about the king's potential plan to stab the Asmer in the back, and they all agree to leave if things ever become dire, Ibishu showing a newfound interest in the safety of Aviath's family. Meanwhile, Wolf and Theo escort the young dragon and wormlings back to the resting place of their mother to get more answers about the Olive Thorn so they can return it to its owner. Wolf casts Speak with Dead and learns the one who wielded the sword was an elf named Malik, the Forgotten King, who used to rule Wick before its collapse. After a melancholic goodbye to their mother, the young dragon flies Theo and Wolf out of the temple, a sense of hope seeming to finally have returned. And as this chapter has come to a close, we welcome you back to our main timeline. Last season, on Chosen Ones. After talking with Claytor, the group learns that he has laid dormant within the mountains after being injured by someone who sounds like Ramona centuries prior. He refuses to leave the cave, but also demands they not bring anyone here, or they could risk his life in his weakened state. After returning to the resort, the party splits up to go to sleep in their respective cabins. Brandy casts Dream on Theo, showing him a dazzling display of their life together so far, and ending with the long-awaited proposal he'd been building up to. Theo wakes up to his fiance and friends waiting to celebrate their engagement. After hanging out for a few hours, and everyone returning to their rooms, Brandy is called to the entrance of the cave by Arthur. He quickly learns that it is in fact Abaddon who requested the meeting. After being asked what he wants, Brandy replies to fix things, and Abaddon vanishes shortly after, his threats to the tiefling hanging in the air. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder See the horizon Turn us to thousands So you've been waiting here for a moment now outside of the cave after Arthur slash Apodon has just left with that kind of ominous threat in the air. And a few more moments pass before like you feel like your hair kind of stand up, like almost like static as like something, some kind of spell has been kind of like cast near you and you can like see out of the corner of your eye, regular Arthur is now next to you. Is he caught? Bit quicker on the draw there with the warnings that would be uh, helpful in the future there. Sorry, I um, I wasn't quite positive. I didn't think he would risk getting that close, so I'm sorry. You're fine. You're all right. Don't worry about it. It wasn't anything too bad. It was just, yeah, we were just having a conversation is all. Ain't anything too horrible. Him just throwing a hissy fit, really. Okay, well, that's good at least. What what did you ask for? I believe I asked to fix things is what I asked for. Okay. That's what I want to do. So I was honest with him. I want to be able to fix things. Like we've talked about, I want to make things uh, better and uh, take time to make sure all of this uh, works out in the end for us, you know. That makes sense. Have all of you, I guess, been upgraded by him now? Is, is that done? Mm, no. One of us hasn't. Which one? Leviath. Great. <laughs> you can see him, like, tense at that immediately. Yeah, he nods. Just gives, like, a humored smile. 
Yep, that's going to be a interesting conversation for them, I'm sure. I honestly don't know how he'll react to that. Yeah, um, I have no idea. Speaking of all this, though, I mean, with him upgrading us and things like that, why? What, what are we... Why is he doing that? It's a... You have to. You don't really get a choice. It's part of the job. Right. But with how much we've gotten uh, upgraded, I think each of us have gotten it at least twice. Well, Avath is... Uh, whenever we'll eventually get another, but... Me, Shui, and Theo have all been upgraded at least twice. How many times you gotta upgrade before you become a chosen one, or how is that decided? Unclear. I thought they chose. They choose candidates, technically. Candidates? Um, again, it's a, they have to. The, the way the system works is it, it wants someone to surpass and continue the, the cycle doesn't want one person forever, so they have to pick people who might one day surpass them. So in that sense, they do pick, but they don't have a final say. I see. Kind of like how they could influence choices and things like that that people make by putting things in your path or obstacles to overcome, but they can't determine what you do. Or they're not supposed to. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is... They can't necessarily ensure someone becomes one, but they can, you know, really stack the odds in that favor, as it were. Yes. And I don't imagine you could tell us who, uh, who of any of us are going to become uh, the chosen one next, obviously. No, I, I can't tell. I honestly don't know in this timeline. Do you know in other timelines? Yes. I don't feel like it's harmful to say that all of you accept Aviath at some point. Even Shui. Oh. 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 Sucks to suck, Aviath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all of us. Uh, yes. Unfortunately. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. He's like thinking to himself. Yeah. Um, I feel like you already kind of know. Um, it usually doesn't end well for you all. Ah. Uh, you tend to not go down a good path, all of you. <laughs> from what I know, I mean, from what we know already, Theo becomes a fallen one. I was going to become a fallen one. And what we've learned about Shui and its relation to Ibishu, I can't imagine that goes well either. So, that's unsurprising. <sighs> yes. I would also note that the current candidates are the ones that he didn't pick. They're still the one before, so... I figured. I don't think he would have picked any of you, honestly, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of... Bad call to pick people who are in direct opposition to you, I suppose. <sighs> Slain wanted someone to take him down. Right. So we picked good candidates. Huh. <laughs> sure. Brandy just kind of nods. And he sits there, looks over into the cave a second, looks back to Arthur, just like looks over everything in the area. <sighs> well, that's certainly going to be interesting. Hope things work out a little better this time around, then. I hope so, too. Um, if you do want to know who it is, I, I'm i too worried about breaking things. But if there was anyone who could tell you in making sure things stay together, it would probably be the magic man. Well, lucky that I have a uh, meeting with him pretty soon. Oh, you do? I do, yeah. He and I are going to chat again pretty soon. I have a question, actually, if you could ask him for me. I don't know if he'll give me a straightforward answer. He threatened at one point um, when we were traveling and things together uh, in his office. He threatened to give you 
a different Arthur. But that shouldn't be possible. Not even from, like, a different universe or something like that? I'm still confused on the whole universe hopping thing. That's news to me. I'm only from this one, so... Timelines, I can understand. Universes could be wildly different from one to the other, and as far as I know, only one can exist at a time. So, that doesn't sound right to me. I just want to know if it was an empathy threat, or if there is something more to that. My thought is, the other Arthurs, if there were any others, that got undone, he might be able to uh, fix that, but I don't know. Might have just been an empty threat. Who knows? With all that said, I've had a very long day. I've had some extreme anxiety in both a good and terrible sense today. So I think I'm going to uh, hit the hay. But I do think this is a important conversation for uh, all of us to have much sooner rather than later. So, I've got a few few things we need to clear up with one another before we jump back into it, because uh, we are standing at the gates of hell together, so we might as well go and prepare it. <laughs> if you have questions, not now, not now, right this instant, but in general, once we go back, I have a lot of work to do. Right. So here would be preferable. I hear there's a bonfire tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. I think that would be a good idea. A good way to sort of ease back into things. Remember everything that's past and everything that's at stake still. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then for one more relaxing day. He says in like air quotes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another relaxing day here in paradise. Have a good night, Arthur. You too. And he will get up and give one last look at the scenery and then head back to his room. You guys all wake up the next morning as you, you are, I guess, preparing for your final day here. You guys, I would say, reconvene at the mess hall for breakfast. Arthur is there early and Merlin is once again at a different table. She's with um, the masseuse, Valorin. She's in here with his other friends and everyone else now. He's going to kind of run over and like slide himself up next to the... Uh, and it's like, so when are you and Randy actually getting married? Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh, this is so early for this, Shuey. <laughs> it's a very early conversation. You see Arthur this. start to open his mouth like he's going to answer, and he's like, oh. and like oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, fucker, points at him. <laughs> Sorry. We, we just got engaged last night. I mean, I don't know. I didn't even get a chance to think about it. Yeah, we got a lot of planning to do in that regard we've also got a lot of adventuring things to do so we'll probably have to get those out of the way first <laughs> we'll see you know Vi, i can do this on my own time regardless of what adventures we're on yeah whenever you have the celebration you should let me perform oh sure <laughs> of course i would love for you to perform dj shuey Master Arthur, what's a DJ? You would not, I never said that word to you. You would not know. <laughs> we'll have that uh, conversations to come for sure between him and I. He like looks to both of I and Chewy. <laughs> yes. This is a Brandy and me thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's always room for it in himself. Oh, I thought you were saying room for Chewy. Like, Chewy <laughs> can also be there. <laughs> And Brandy and Theo are just like, we're going to plan our wedding. And she was like, yeah, our wedding. No. <laughs> our wedding. <laughs> Us as four people. <laughs> so. We're going to plan it together. <laughs> well, that's why Theo snapped the device. <laughs> yeah, like, sure excuse up. me. This is not anything to do with you. It's like, we have important adventuring business to do. We cannot get married, all of us. No, we're <laughs> we cannot get he's married. He's projecting. He's projecting. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> uh, this is Avias never been with someone because he's always been too afraid and use adventuring to adventure. as a means to like yeah use adventuring as a means to hide that. What is this like personality? Like what is this quality you've given him? I kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> It's called repression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which he already does have to some extent. A lot of repression, but it's fine. You guys are really psychoanalyzing a Vyeth here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> He's just like, we want to make sure the world is safe before we do other things. But no, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that was his point. But he phrased it as adventuring, which is like a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Has... um. Stormy said anything? Like reacted any uh, any anything? Oh, been completely silent since you called it out. Oops, that sucks. <laughs> what if I'm never able to talk to Stormy again? Oh yeah, I'm sure Cassie completely dropped that plot point. Yeah, right. Yeah, so we're. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're never gonna talk to a Bishu again. <laughs> Literally ever. Master Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, Inu. He's like, I was wondering if you could teach me how you teleport around like that. I think with my current magic ability that I'll be able to do it too. I just need to be shown how. Like an example or something. There is a possibility, depending on the spell that you use, that it could go wrong. Just to keep that in mind. Mm. What's the one that you use then? Oh, it's the same one. I'm just good at it. <laughs> He's wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this could have gone wrong at any point. No, it's not. We wouldn't just start teleporting randomly. Oh, gotcha. What what would the consequences be then? You end up in the wrong spot. Oh. Uh, good thing you can't, like, end up in the side of a mountain or something, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, good thing. <sighs> Arthur. I got it. I did it. You did, and, and I'm proud of you. You're right. No, you're right. I'm proud of you. That, you're right. Do you want me Good to job. rip open the no, time listen, space? I'm, no, listen. I said it's okay. I'm sorry. Calm down. Your eyes are turning blue. Chill out. <laughs> no, but you, you have seen him teleport that way, but that was more like a timeline thing. So he's like, right. if you want to take it the long but consistent way, we can go through multiple timelines to eventually get <laughs> Yeah. No. Wait, I'm confused. What are we talking about? Don't worry about it. We we had a big out of conversation. Sorry, out of character conversation. Let's ease back in. <laughs> Even then, I still want to learn. Sure. I guess when we go back, just watch very closely. <laughs> yeah, that would be real useful. Certainly. Smiles real white. Oh, I can't wait. Maybe I can teleport to the moon. What's up? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, he doesn't slow, say that. Slow roll there, partner. <laughs> yeah, Arthur like looks at him and he's like, "Maybe you could. I could do it. Maybe no." I <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Shuey. You do it. <laughs> Let's do it now. No. Eyes turn blue again. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's unhinged. <gasps> no. <Yeah. laughs> Boss music starts. I'll bring the moon to us instead. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> he's not this unhinged. <laughs> right now. I like that blue is now like just this demonic color. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I've conditioned you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so what are we going to do today then? It's our last day here, right? The only thing we haven't done is the bathhouse, but we can't do that because Theo will die. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, Theo will perish. She was like, why? No, no. <laughs> did me and Avaya not do the bathhouse? Oh, no, we did the mud bath. That's what we did. You don't have to do the bathhouse, though. That was, like, the reason we went here, but you don't have to. Yeah, that's true. We were like, oh, what if we go to, like, these bathhouses? And we did everything but the bathhouse. You sure did. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff that was similar, though. I imagined that we just did it off screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. But that's very funny. <sighs> yeah. That's a good question. Today's our last day here, so, uh... They do facials and they get kicked out because Shuey and Avaith won't stop talking. No. no, hold on. They eat the face rub. <laughs> eat the cucumbers. <laughs> okay, so we did sliding. You did everything except bathhouse. And fancy cafe. No, you did fancy cafe. Brandy and Theo did. They got looked at. Oh, that's right, that's right, yeah. that's right, that's right. They got looked right. at because they looked poor or whatever. Yeah, because Brandy snobby. was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a rich, fancy cafe. And Theo was like, 
It's rude to stare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. And they're like, it's rude to be poor. No, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> they would be like that, though. There was this, sorry, there was this meme I saw today that was like, maybe you should have thought about saving food before you decided to become peasants. <laughs> it just reminded me of Estel. <laughs> oh, my God. Literally, though. She was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so. He's looking at the brochure. Master Dashi always says that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I, knew. I like that you couldn't even get through no, no, no. the laugh, like, without laughing. <laughs> I laughed because I knew you guys would fucking react. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh-huh. Um, Master Dashi always says that there's nothing a hot bath can't cure. Is that right? We specifically said we can't do that one as a group, though, Zen. Like... <laughs> it's fine. Shuey goes in blindfolded. Oh, sorry, Theo, not Shuey. Shuey goes in yeah. too. <laughs> Shuey too. <laughs> Shuey also, yeah. <laughs> he thinks it's a game. Well, there's got to be something else we can do that's like really fun. We could just walk around the grounds and sightsee. That's fair. This place is probably real pretty. I mean, we're on the side of a fucking mountain. The scenery's probably real nice down there. Go on a little hike. We just shouldn't go too too low down. Yeah, of course. That sounds fun. Right, Yaga? Yes, I'd be open to that. Sounds good to me. Hiking it is. So we eat at our breakfast. And then during eating, Arthur's like, I'll see if maybe Merlin wants to come. And he like gets up and goes over to their table. And they like talk for a little bit. And like you can see um, the masseuse laughing next to her. And Arthur just returns a moment later and was like, she's she's busy. Um <laughs> <laughs> Do they make fun of you? No. Are you lying? No. Insight. No. <laughs> She's fucking lying. <laughs> they were like, you hiking, ha. Huh? That's what they were. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like 100% sure. 20, non natural. What's his deception? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, you bitch! <laughs> It's been a while since I've looked at his sheet. Hold on. Uh, he got really low, actually. It's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Did they make fun of your twig legs? They didn't actually, but thank you. <laughs> That's a bit mean, Brandy. What? No. It's not mean to say that he's skinny. Is it? You didn't, you did not say skinny. You used a different word. That was rude. Anyway. <laughs> what, what did I say? <laughs> I thought I said skinny. I don't know. Hey, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can invite Master Arthur to our workout sessions. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be excellent. <laughs> it wouldn't. Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. It'd be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you should be in peak shape, Arthur. You only get one body. <laughs> <laughs> looks at you maybe not the best words <laughs> <laughs> let's just go he gives you a very very yeah. long look <laughs> <laughs> what i meant to say is it's good for your health <laughs> uh, that was so fucking comical i love it please keep that in cassie <laughs> please <laughs> Just this long, like, Arthur just staring at <laughs> fucking Apaya for so long, like... Nah, dog, nah. <laughs> that ain't it. You're completely wrong. <laughs> so you guys all start to walk out. It is starting to kind of, like, snow a little bit out on the mountain today. So if you're not already in your winter gear, you might want to stop by, grab coats and stuff, and then go head out to just kind of wander around, try to relax before you know you're going to head into stuff. This really has been a, uh, a nice, uh, nice time, huh? It has been a rather much needed getaway. Oh yeah, definitely much needed for sure. And I had a good time. Yeah. I think after everything, having this time to rest and just get my thoughts together really helped yeah i think so i think it's really helped to be able to like clear our heads like this yeah trying to calm down and everything i admit after um nothing happening for a long time for me anyway and then suddenly everything happening at once it was a lot but um this has definitely helped 
Yeah. It's nice to take some time to relax. Hmm. We haven't really gotten that since, uh, God, since we left the compound the first time. Yeah, it was just a lot of, we, we get trained and then people come to the compound that shouldn't be there. And then, you know, the, the chabbers and then, and then a mission yeah. and then the mission oh God, lasted mission. so long. Christ, felt like fucking forever. <laughs> this is our recap episode. I never... <laughs> 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 We're telling you now. Yeah. <laughs> Audience. Yeah. I never expected to get the news that Pastor Dashi was <sighs> on trial. It was certainly a surprise. I mean, I hadn't known you long, but... Remember when you murdered that child? Oh, sorry. Okay, we can't forget that. We don't have to recap that. Part. <laughs> no, we don't have to talk about that. We don't. Just cut that, cut that part out. The timing was rather shocking. It was right when we were about to get our first mission. Yeah. Made the decision pretty easy. I'm sorry if I forced you guys into going to Greenflower with me. Oh, no, no. It's okay. We wanted to be there for you. Yeah. You're like family to us, Shui. You're, we would have done that regardless. Mm. Aww. Um. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> me too, bud. I was saying it out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes me emotional. <laughs> I want you to say it back, Arthur. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, Arthur's already... He came with you without you asking. This is gross. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> That's growth. He, like, immediately was like, we're going to go hang out today. Like, he did, like, just was, like, just jumped into it. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. I, too. Although he is definitely probably still kind of, like, a little off to the side. <laughs> I was going to say, he's, like, fucking 30 feet behind, like... <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> We're just walking. <laughs> and I love you all as well. Come here. And he grabs oh Arthur. <laughs> brings him to a new hug. <laughs> he runs back to grab Arthur. <laughs> 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 he will. He does that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Come here. And then just like. <laughs> <laughs> Theo in this hug. And he's like, you know, for the smaller folks, this is not as pleasant. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It is Pex. <laughs> <laughs> Literally fucking Shuey and Theo are just yeah. like crushed. <laughs> Brandy Thunder steps out of the hug. <laughs> <laughs> and kills all of them instantly. Yeah, they all with get the hit thunder. By thunder damage. Fucking everyone takes 5d10 thunder damage no, no, instantly. Shuey might get health back. He might awaken something. <laughs> <laughs> Ibishu awakens like da, da, da. <laughs> What? <laughs> Shui slowly levitating off the ground <laughs> What does the scenery look like? Can we like see any wildlife or anything? You're pretty high up in the mountains So there's not a lot of stuff that like lives up here You're on like the peak of one of the highest mountains So actually wandering around You might be a little short of breath So Arthur's dying uh, but, yeah, that's right. Uh, because there's just less oxygen and stuff. Arthur does not need to breathe, uh, so that's why it's a little funnier. Yeah, I was but, gonna say, uh, why the fuck is he out of breath? <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> and then he just stops because he doesn't need to breathe. Sorry, I used to have asthma before I became a god, and I for- I forget. <laughs> Moon Arthur. Hey, look, it's a bunny. Oh. Let's see if we can try to pet it. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> It jabber fries and eats you. Is that a bad idea? No, I just, I don't, I wouldn't want us to scare it. If you want to get close to it, Avath, you gotta like crouch down real low, like and slowly move towards it. Oh, okay, let's try that. Does Avath crouch down? He's gonna crouch down, yeah. Brandy pushes him into the snow. Brandy! <laughs> You fell for that, Yaya. <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> it's a snowy day outside, you know. He like scoops, like some of the snow with his uh, tail, you know. If I scoops it back at his knees. <laughs> God, it reminds me of the holidays. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure does. I'm sure, he wants to make a snow angel, so he's gonna flop backwards. Adorable. But that online is probably like Ibishu. <laughs> That'd be so weird. <laughs> God. What'd you say? If it's like, like he tried it... to make a snow angel, but he made like an outline of Ibishu. 
<laughs> Way to make this existential for Shimei. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, he does make a snow angel. Avaya tries, but like his wings kind of fuck up the shape. Yeah. Which is ironic. It's just a big circle. It just doesn't work. He was going to go off with the others who are doing the angels. He's going to like go around them, leave Brandy on the other side. Hey, Brandy, you should make one. Uh, I don't know about making a snow angel, but... Uh... Theo picks up some snow on the other side of the, the two on the ground, and he... Lock on! <laughs> the lock on? Lock on. <laughs> he fucking... Uh, <laughs> yeah. no, uh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> right. <laughs> Colossus Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> fucking deals like 50 cold damage. <laughs> Should we use next time? Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I... You should genuinely roll. Brandy just gets one shot by a snowball. <laughs> Honestly, though, the the sneaking part is fun. <laughs> yeah, it is fun. And if I should genuinely roll... Do it. You have advantage because Brandy's distracted. If you miss, you hit Avaya. Nat 20! <laughs> oh, 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 my god. I that is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, fucking ten! Fuck, shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! You put a rock in that? What the fuck? I do want to see what the damage is. Oh, oh I'd love to. He doesn't actually take damage, but like, how to how bad would damage? it be if you fucked me up? Okay. Yeah, if you like rolled, how bad would it be with sneak attack plus Colossus Slayer plus Hunter's Mark or whatever the fuck? So this is normal damage. Oh my <laughs> god! What the hell? Damage. Oh my god. Um, uh huh. Normal damage plus. So that's twenty right now. Plus another twelve then, so thirty-two. Extra. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> another twenty-four. So fucking. Oh. What is that? Uh, so 20 plus 12 is 32 plus 24 is fucking 46 goddamn damage in one hit. Wait, because, you know, if I was also technically doing Hunter's Mark. Oh my god, yeah, Hunter's Mark too. He is going to be the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> he literally is. This is the moment. 48 plus 2 or so plus 4 is 52. All right. And that's, uh, that's that. <laughs> Damn. So 52 damage, you literally would have done almost half of Brandy's entire health in a hit. <laughs> <laughs> almost half his health in one hit. Also, Theo got almost max damage on everything on a nat 20. On almost yeah. everything. Literally. <laughs> like, Christ. Oh, that's insane. Theo really did does not fuck around. I wish this was savable for an actual battle and not to throw a snowball at Brandy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's still funny. This has to be in the podcast, though. Me yeah. Too. Oh, absolutely. Me, Just to show like, an example yeah. of how fucked up Theo is. <laughs> And that was just his first attack, baby. Oh, God, that, that's, that's right. stupid. Um, but yeah, Theo throws a snowball right at Brandy. Um... <laughs> 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 just like right square in the fucking center of his face. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny, huh? I'm very funny in this exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> he scoops his fucking tail through the ground, just sends a wave of fucking snow towards Theo, like ah. throwing a shovel of snow. <laughs> Not fair! <laughs> oh, come on, you took me off guard. Uh. <laughs> I have no regrets. <laughs> I did a great hit. You can't deny yeah. it. Yeah. Got me right in my fucking face. <laughs> 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 And no, there was no rocks in it. <laughs> uh, and then as a part of it, he's going to like mischievously look to Aviath and Shuey and uh, scoop snow onto the both of them as well while he's like pretending he's trying to get Thea. He's just going to like lay snow onto them. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, you're getting snow on the rest of us. Uh, oh, sorry. That was a total accident. I was trying to get Theo. That's all. <laughs> Definitely an accident, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This was an accident as well. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Flap your wings and send a bunch of snow. Oh yeah, like fucking just like <laughs> takes his wings and just like. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that makes more sense. He'll do that. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> oh, like, just covered in snow. <laughs> you, see, you see Arthur cast shield. Um. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. <laughs> don't hit me! <laughs> oh, don't hit you. Neil picks oh, up don't the hit snowball. You, said. <laughs> yeah, scoop some snow. <laughs> Arthur turns invisible. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, can see his on. fucking footprints in the snow. I cast counter spell. Oh god. Okay, it's just a regular, so you just do it. Yeah. Nope. Shoot. And then I throw fucking hurl snow at him. <laughs> you probably hit him, honestly. He's a wizard. Okay. We pelt Arthur. Yeah, we just cover. It's like in fucking cartoons when like they just hurl snow on someone and they look like a snowman <laughs> afterwards, where they're just covered. <laughs> That's Arthur now. <laughs> He's casting like firebolt to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I solve all my problems through magic, all of them. So. Literally, though. <laughs> He's just trying to brush it off as much as possible. It, like, <laughs> is shaking from the cold. <laughs> also, I was realizing, I think they cast, I think Arthur cast plane shift to get into the moon, not teleport. Yes, he did. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. So yeah, on the teleport. He got excited about nothing, but that's the usual for Arthur, so. That's fine. Shui, you know, kind of puts his hands, like, to his mouth. Okay, guys, get him! Huh? As he uh-huh. cast Speak With Animals. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And he's asking like the snowy owls or whatever the fuck to just kind of bring in the snow. <laughs> to <laughs> who what? wants to get to who? To everyone. All everyone. <laughs> yeah, get them. Yeah. Everyone. Get him. He's, it reminds me of like that snow white thing in like that Shrek movie where like she's like, ah! and then like all the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's come. Roll oh an god. animal handling check. I will. It says you might be able to persuade some beasts. To do small favors oh, for you. Oh, please get like a natural 20 on this. We'll see. I've never wanted something more. For like all these little snow bunnies and owls like pop up from nowhere and just start pelting the party. 15 plus 6. Damn. Jesus. Fucking 21. Yeah, there didn't seem like there were a lot of animals around here, but... But they were just hiding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of the woodwork. We all find ourselves like surrounded by like as like 20 rabbits just suddenly like <laughs> pop up from the snow. She's like, oh... Oh my! <laughs> just fucking snowballs. Couple snow foxes, couple arctic foxes too. <laughs> Literally. Oh fuck. <laughs> you hear like a bear barreling down the Oh, oh no! <laughs> Shoo it! It was a joke! Shoo it! <laughs> Yeah, Shui is like, <laughs> Shui's laughing a bunch right now. And he's like, okay, guys, thanks. Oh, you think you're so fucking funny. The bear keeps coming. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> the bear keeps coming. Yeah, roll initiative. No. <laughs> <laughs> About to wail on this bear as level like 13 or whatever. You know, like oh how like the bulls do like the little, like charging up little foot thingy. <laughs> That's what it's doing towards yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Sees another bear. <laughs> that was fun. I like this. This is cute. Yeah, I think that was a good scene. You guys, um, after, I guess, finishing walking around uh, the area, go back to, like, dry off because you are definitely coated in snow. And, yeah. Oh, 100%. Want to probably go wash up a bit. Now we take a bath to warm up. Yeah. Separate baths. Yeah. <laughs> Separate baths to warm up. And then you guys have a little bit of time before the bonfire. Welcome back, everyone, to the main timeline of Chosen Ones. As we settle back into our story, I want to remind you that there are recaps for seasons one through three available on the channel if you'd like a reminder of our journey so far. It is a wild ride ahead of you for this season, as it's looking to be our longest one yet at nearly double the recording length of our first season and we can't wait to share it with you. Thank you to our high tier patrons, Clayton, Joker Dino, Spectre324, Spirit, Big Red Dog, Keelan, Bubby, Zab, Arceus Druid, Charles, and Mr. Bakudan. If you haven't already, make sure to like the episode and leave a comment. We'll see you soon, fellow Sparks. Thank you for listening. <laughs>